Hello, how are you today? Can you hear Hi, me? Relax? Okay. Yes, I hear you. Okay, good. So I'm using my other uh, internet uh, because the 4G is not working well. So I'm not sure if this one uh, is good. Yeah. But I think it's okay now. Yes, I hear you very clear. Yes. Okay, me too. I can hear you clearly as well. Um, okay, I think we can start. Can you see the book? Is it clear? Yes. Okay, great. Okay, so uh, let's review our last lesson. Uh, the last thing we spoke about was uh, uh, the episode, the, the soap opera, Family Business, where we talked about some of the problems uh, the family is having, right? And some of the characters in the yeah. story. What, you, what can you remember from, from uh, the last episode uh, of, of the radio drama, Family Business? What do you remember? Um about uh, two uh, restaurants, uh, one of them for uh, uh, Clive and uh, and uh, her has uh, her wife. Uh, uh, his wife. And they want yes, uh, his wife yes. Mm -hmm. And they want to borrow some money from the bank because uh, their restaurants uh, are. Uh, not uh, maybe uh, uh, the bank will close uh, them if they uh, didn't uh, give uh, money. Mm -hmm. But why do you think why do you think uh, the bank wants to close them? If, if and they... maybe they have uh, in a debt. Correct. Yes, maybe they're in debt. It means they took they borrowed money before and they still can't return it. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, about their sons, uh, and their uh, daughter. Mm -hmm. Their daughter want to work uh, at uh, another restaurant. Mm -hmm. with, is, th is that a problem? Uh, uh, is it a problem yeah, if yeah. she works in another uh, restaurant? That's a problem for. Yes, uh, for uh, her mother. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a problem because she wants her to work with the, with her in the restaurant, in their restaurant, mm -hmm. uh, and about uh, their son. Uh, uh, their son, uh, I think, he is. Uh, what about uh, his? What about him? Uh, he isn't. Uh, uh, maybe he is. Uh, um, can uh, I explain? Maybe he isn't a good man, and uh, mm -hmm. her wife. Uh, his wife. Maybe yeah. make a relation with his uh, brother. Yes. Yes. Maybe his wife had a relationship with his brother. Mm -hmm. uh, um, and uh, their son came, he back from uh, his uh, travel uh, to ask about uh, his daughter mm -hmm. and uh, he told him, uh, told them uh, uh, Elizabeth uh, is his daughter. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, this is the summary of uh... Of the last episode, this is what happened. Mm -hmm. uh, what do you think will happen in the future, in, in your opinion? Uh, 
do you think will happen? In, in, for Maybe example, in the next make episode. Problems with uh, his family. Can he will make a problem? Which problems one? N with, uh, Nick, his Nick, family. Nick or yeah. Darren? Nick, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Uh, I think uh, uh, two of them, uh, both of them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, both of them will cause some trouble, you think? Um, you think both of them maybe, will cause uh, trouble to the family? Yes, both of them, yes, yes. Uh, they will may, uh, fight uh, with uh, each other. Mm -hmm and uh, their parents will uh, try to uh, understand and solve this problem do you think they will do you think they will succeed do you think they they will be able no. to solve the problem no 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 mm. maybe uh, uh, maybe darren and his wife uh, will uh, divorce yes maybe after this problem yes Mm -hmm. uh, and um, a restaurant maybe uh, will uh, close. Maybe yes. Because the bank uh, refuse uh, refuse to give them uh, some money. Mm. But uh, but what about uh, what about the, the the younger sister Trudy? What do you think will happen? And also, maybe, maybe. <laughs> yeah, continue. Maybe Trish. she will uh, like she like uh, her she likes her job. You mean her new job at the the other uh, at the other restaurant? You mean? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Maybe she uh, likes this work, and sure. maybe uh, after two weeks uh, she will uh, let uh, this work. Ah, maybe she'll leave it like like her other jobs. Yes, yes. All right. Okay. Okay. So this was uh, this was an example of a soap opera. Um, okay. So we can move to our new topic. So our new topic here is some um, everyday English, and uh, um, here. Uh, just a second. Uh, here we're going to talk about how to uh, take a phone message. Uh, this means if someone calls and leaves a message, so it, someone is leaving something important, maybe uh, let's say someone is calling, uh, uh, I don't know, maybe your husband, your brother, someone from his, uh, uh, his job maybe, and they couldn't they couldn't reach your husband directly, so they might call uh, the home phone. We don't use home phones anymore in Libya, but the landline, let's imagine there's a landline, so they will call and maybe you can take the message. They will leave you a message and of course you can give this message to your brother or to your husband or to your sister or anybody. So this is leaving a message. Of course now I don't think it's a, uh, it's as common as in the past because, you know, 15, 20 years ago, people didn't have WhatsApp, WhatsApp, the, the, the application. They didn't have Facebook. They, they, the people didn't use voice messages. You know, this, this is new. I think maybe in the last 10, 15 mm -hmm. years only, it's not something too old. But before that, in the past, in the early 2000s, and in the 90s, people uh, used to leave uh, phone messages a lot. And this phone message, sometimes you can take it directly. So you're still speaking and writing the message and the other person is telling you the message. And sometimes it's, uh, it's like a recorded message. So it, uh, it's on the voicemail of the telephone and then you can listen to it uh, when you get back home. So, um, so of course, this is a little, uh, maybe a little outdated uh, maybe this is a little old for for today, but it was it was a, a common part of everyday life. Okay, so now with the first uh, general question, uh, it says here: How often do you use your mobile phone, your uh, mobile or landline every day? So do you have a landline, Malak? Do you use a landline at your house? 
at your home? Do you have a landline? Um, it means internet. No, landline means a normal telephone with a line. You know, not not a mobile yeah, no. phone. Uh, at the bus, yes, we have, but uh, it's on the internet. We don't use it on the ADSL. So not it's so it's it's only used for for the internet for DSL only, not yeah. for calls. Mm -hmm. Okay, I see. All right, and how often do you use your 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 mobile phone for calls? I mean, your your cell phone. How often do you use it for calls? Um, maybe once uh, once a day. Only maybe once a day. Uh, never. Uh, in on calling, but uh, on the internet, uh, many times, of course. Mm -hmm. uh, all the day maybe if I am free yeah I see okay so but if you're if we're talking about regular calls normal calls maybe once a day is this what you're saying yeah oh, I see okay so um, yes. mm -hmm. which three people um, do you call or do you text the most so three people that you usually text or usually call. Um, sister, my sister. Okay, your um, sister. Mm -hmm. um, I don't have a lot of money. Maybe uh, my friend is maybe not so uh, a lot. Uh -huh, okay. Okay, so maybe friends, uh, maybe uh, family. No. This is this is the the. Yes. These uh, are the people you usually call. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm hmm. I see. I don't have uh, another person uh, that you call often. Just uh, one person to. That, ah, so just. Yes. One just one friend that you usually call, but but not but not many people. Friend or cousin or but not every day. Mm -hmm. Not every day. And uh, my mom, if I uh, if I uh, take uh, uh, the line, maybe she doesn't have uh, courage. Courage. Something. Courage. Yes. Something. She doesn't have courage? Yes, maybe, yes. Um, my mother and my sister always doesn't have uh, courage. But if I... Uh, you mean coverage, yes, coverage, you mean? Then I uh, call uh, them every day. You mean Malak coverage, not courage. Yes, 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 coverage. Yes. What's the difference between these two words? Yeah. What's yes, the difference? Courage, yes. I don't know this word. Courage. Uh, Ines, hi, how are you today? Can you hear us, Ines? Where, where is the word? Is, yes, cover. Coverage and uh, courage. Discover, yes. Uh, courage has another meaning, courage. Courage, it means someone who's brave, who's not afraid. Courage, uh, coverage. Yeah, coverage is for telephones, internet, or network coverage. Coverage. Okay. But the second word, courage, this is, this is how brave you are. So if someone is, a, is brave and not afraid, someone who's not scared, mm -hmm. and someone who, who's not afraid of anything, we say this person... Uh, no, this is a noun. Courage is a noun. The adjective is courageous. Courageous. Okay. The adjective. Courageous. Ines, hi. Can you hear us, Ines? Yes. Okay, it's very, it's very noisy. I mean, you need to move somewhere else. It's too noisy. Yeah, thank you. Okay, yes, so uh, courageous, it means someone who is mm -hmm. brave, 
someone who's not afraid. This is the meaning of courageous. Okay. What, what is it in Arabic, courageous, if you want to translate it? Yes, yes, yes. This is courageous. And the noun, courage, what is it? Uh, courage. Uh, uh, courage. It's, it's, uh, it's the noun. Shujaa. No, shujaa is the uh, adjective. We want the noun. Noun. The noun of shujaa. What's the noun? Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. That's it. Okay. This is courage. The meaning of courage, okay? So okay. courage, courageous. Um, okay, Ines, I have a question for you about telephones. Uh, number four here. Oh, sorry, number three. Um, do you do you ever need to speak English on the phone, Ines? Yes. Yes, and when or who do you have to speak English to? Uh, with my aunt. Mm -hmm. Do you do you ever need? Do you speak in English with your aunt? Yes, because my aunt uh, uh, lives lives in America. Uh huh. She lives in America. Yes, I, I sometimes uh, speak to to her uh, in English. Um, oh, that's good. Uh, he, uh, he, uh, he uh, learning me. Teaching you, she's teaching you. Yes, teaching me uh, something about uh, conversation. That's excellent. And and how often yeah. how often do you speak to her? I mean, is it every day or is it once a week or is it? I mean, how often? Sometimes every day, sometimes. But now uh, she is busy. Mm -hmm. mm, I don't call call her. I see. Okay, okay. So that's good. And now the next question also for you, Ines. How often do you check your phone messages? I mean, your text messages. How often do you check them? Uh, excuse me, what's the lesson about? The lesson is about uh, phone messaging. It's about, uh, let me show you the, the headline, the title of the lesson, call me back. The lesson is call me back. So it's mostly about telephone calls, how to deal with telephone calls, uh, what to do, you know, this kind of thing. Uh, what, to say on, what to say on the phone, uh, how to take messages, how to send messages, this kind of thing. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. I check my phone messages uh, sometimes. Mm -hmm. uh, but I mean, how many when, times when I, per, no, per day? How many times per day do you check? Or when you re, only when you receive something? Yes, when, when I receive something, I check it. Okay, but I think here maybe they're talking more about, uh, you know, old telephones, landlines. Do you, do you have a landline, uh, Ines? Do you know what a landline is? No, I don't know what meaning landline. Okay, a landline is like an old telephone, an old telephone with a line, not a mobile phone. Do you understand? Oh, I, I don't have landline telephone. Yeah, same with... Uh, I don't have. Me too. Yeah, I don't have, uh, me neither. I don't have a landline and also Manak. And I think most people in Libya don't have landlines anymore. But I think here the question they're asking about uh, voice messages. Uh, on landlines, oh, yeah. you know, this is what I think they're asking about here. But I think we have the same thing on phones, right? Because uh, people can also leave voice messages, maybe not on your, uh, on your, uh, you know, your SIM card, your Libyan or Madar, but maybe people can leave messages on WhatsApp, uh, Facebook, right? Viber, people can record something and send it. So I think it's the same if we think of it. Um, yes, nowadays people, all people, all people uh, uh, use the Viber or WhatsApp messages. Exactly. Messenger. Yeah, yeah. And many people also don't use it only for texting, but also, you know, for messages. You can just record yourself and, hello, how are you? We are meeting at six o'clock. Don't forget to bring your books and you send it. 
and then your friend yeah. or your sister or someone okay yeah. no problem i'll see you and also please don't forget to bring your lasagna with you we're hungry <laughs> and then they send you yeah uh -huh, yeah yeah, yeah. All right. So, uh, so I think this is what they're asking about in question number four. Uh, okay. Now this question may be for both of you because I think it's important. Do you always phone back, uh, phone people back? It means, do you always call them back? Maybe you were busy someone, or maybe you were asleep and someone called you, maybe a friend, family, anybody. Um, do you call, do you always call them back? Uh, Malak, do you always call people back? Yeah. Okay, for Inas, you always call people back. But, but why? Why do you always call them back? Because my sister, because I found my sister call me. Uh -huh. I need to call her back. You need to call her back. But is it, do you do this for everybody who calls you or just maybe... No, family? just my sister, my sister, my father, my brother, just, family. just important people in my life, yes. Yeah. Mm, I see, I see. What about you, Manak? Do you usually call people back or not always or sometimes? Or... What um, about you? If uh, some, uh, when I know them, I, uh, and uh, I think it's necessary to call him, I call him. Mm. Maybe my mother wants uh, something important or my sister or my husband or uh, my father. Of course, I will uh, call back. I see. But... but Okay, okay. But what's your opinion about people who don't call back? Because some people don't, some people you call them, they, I don't know if it happens to you, but sometimes it happens to me. Sometimes you call someone because maybe you agreed to go out, maybe you need something from them, uh, or maybe you, yeah. maybe you planned to have, a, to have a, a talk, right? But they don't call you back, yeah. even if you called them. Uh, no, um, I think... Uh... Uh, some uh, one uh, he wants uh, just to fun with you or uh, um, just to speak, not uh, necessary. Uh -huh. They want to I just chat. Is, uh, you mean. They just want to yes, chat. Yes, yes, yes. I know. I know him. Uh, he will chat with me, and mm -hmm. I don't back. I don't uh, I uh, phone back. Yes. Okay, okay. That's but a good... if uh, I know him. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Continue. If yes. I know him uh, or I know her, uh, if I know her very well, and I think, uh, in my opinion, uh, this, that's necessary. Maybe a teacher in uh, school uh, for uh, my daughter or my uh, or for my daughter or my son. Uh, of course, I will back. Uh, yes. Of course, you'll, back. you'll call back. Mm. But but I've got a question now. Mm -hmm. Maybe Inas can answer this question. How do you know if someone called f for something important and necessary, or like Malak said, if someone called maybe just to chat, maybe a friend of yours, even even your, from your family, maybe your cousin, maybe your sister, brother, anybody from the family. Maybe they just want to chat and see how you're doing, how are you, how's the family, you know, just chat. How can you tell the difference? How do you know when it's a, when it's an important call or when it's a chat call? How do you know? We know the people. Uh, we, we have to know the people uh, who wants to, uh, to tell you important thing or uh, just chatting with, with you. Mm -hmm. uh, if my mother or my father, like Malek said, want to me, uh, I have to, to call him or her back. Because I know my father will tell me some something very important, and my mother, same thing, my sister, my brother. But uh, I have a friend, and I um, 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 also my friends. I know who uh, who of them wants me uh, very important. Uh, or chatting with me, uh, uh, maybe. Um, if my children in my work, uh, if my friends in my work, sorry, if my friends in my work call me, I know she wants me uh, an important matter. Mm -hmm. 
So you are uh, saying it depends on the person. This is what you are saying. I have uh, another uh, yeah. petition. Um, if somebody uh, uh, um, wants you to important thing, he will uh, call you again and again. Uh -huh. Yes, this is, this is a good idea, yeah. So, but for me, it's, it's the opposite. If I find a missed call from someone and it's, you know, missed call, missed, like I find five, six, seven, I'm not going to call mm -hmm. back. <laughs> because if you're calling <laughs> this much and I, I'm not going to call you back, you need to learn to be patient. And you need to learn to send a message. If someone doesn't answer you back, maybe I don't know the number because this, is, this happens many times someone who knows me maybe i know them but i don't know the number right so they call and they call and they call and they call i'm not sometimes they don't want to answer some some number you know i just leave it yes and, me and too, I find, <laughs> I, yeah. it's a common problem i think it's a, it's a big yes. problem here in libya why don't people leave message just say i am sohaib i am malak i am inas and just send it i will call you back of course when i know who you are but some people, they just keep, you know, call again and again and again and again. <laughs> so, yes, yes. I think it's a problem maybe, but um, does this happen to you, Malak and Dinas? Do, do you have this? Maybe your friend, uh, maybe even your family, sometimes someone calls and you don't have their name because you haven't saved mm -hmm. their name and you don't know who they are and maybe you don't want to answer someone you don't know. Does this happen to you, Malak? Uh, yes, I don't know, but I don't uh, call uh, back. No, no. Yeah, but, but, I don't, but uh, no, but call. maybe they call. Maybe they but call now you we many have... times. Yes. yes um, no. You said now we, we have... have a program. We have a program in telephone who. Uh, uh, the idea of the of which, the number. Which know which know the, the the name of number. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I you... don't know what what his name, but we have. I have. I have, and it is a program uh, yeah, yeah, now, yeah. program, uh, you can um, install, install it in telephone. Yes, it's, a, it's an application yes. that you can install. It's a, yes, application, yes, application yeah. uh, in our telephone or in my telephone. Uh, I know uh, when, when I have uh, a noun number, where I found a noun number, call me. I don't call it back. Mm -hmm. Until uh, you find out who the person is. Yes, found out uh, from uh, this application. Yeah, I used to. I used to use this. I used to have this application, but it stopped working. It doesn't work anymore. I don't know why. Maybe it needs updating. I don't know. But it's, it's not working anymore. I used to do the same it's, thing. Yes. Like you, I used to check the, the number. Who is it? Yes, I but, check the number. If I know the person, I call him back. Mm -hmm. Or if I don't know the person, I don't call anyone. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. That's, that's the best thing to do, I think, yeah. yes. Um, okay, so uh, this lesson is mainly about calls, how to return calls, and especially messages. I think the focus is uh, because before you entered, uh, Ines, I was telling Malak that in, in the past, especially in the West, you know, in the UK, in Europe and America, uh, before the internet, or even with the internet, I mean, in the early 2000s and late 1990s, uh, people and companies, they used to use landlines, you know, the old telephones with lines. And in, yeah. in the UK and America, most of these phones not just from the 90s, I think even from the 80s uh, in the USA, they had recorders where you can leave a, a message, right? So for example, yes. if, I, if, you call, if you call Malak's house and Malak is at work, then the answer machine from the phone will switch on yeah. automatically and you can leave your message on the recorder, on the tape recorder. Yes. Yes. Malak comes back and she will, she will listen to your message and maybe she'll call you back. So I think this lesson is mainly about uh, that kind of uh, recording, you know? They're talking about that style of uh, voice messages, I, I think. This is what they're focusing on. But for us, of course, because we don't use this anymore, now we're in 2020, of course, technology, cell phones, internet, Facebook, uh, WhatsApp, you know? But it's still, in a way, it's still similar. We still sometimes leave messages, uh, text messages or voice messages, so maybe uh, some of them, some of the information is the same. 
All right, now, in, in number two here, in exercise two, it's about taking phone messages, okay? So these are some, uh, number one to six here, these are some common uh, voice messages or common ways or common things that people usually, uh, people usually say when they leave messages to each other, okay? So we want to complete number one to six using these words. Uh, let me read the words in the box. So you have called, meeting, afraid, line, leave, message. So these are the words. And I'd like you to use them here from number one to six, okay? So um, take a minute, uh, think of this. I'm just going to bring a, a pen, okay? Think of these and we'll, we'll check them together, okay? Okay. All right, so you can start answering. Okay, let's see your answer. Uh, yes. Okay, finished it? Have you finished it? Who'd like to do the first? Yeah. Let's divide them, okay? And then we can I'm finish. And then you can start, okay, Malek. And then we'll check from the CD and see who's, okay. if all of them are correct or not. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm afraid he isn't here this afternoon. Okay. And number two, can I take uh, a message? Okay, let me write your answers. I'm afraid he isn't uh, here. Can I take a message? What about number three? Uh, shall I tell him you called? Okay. All right, what about the rest of them, Ines? Can you answer them? Um, number four. Mm -hmm. uh, I think hold the line. Okay. Please, I put you through. Uh, I'm sorry, he is in a meeting. Mm -hmm. You'd like to leave a message? Okay, let's check them from this, the track. Let's see. Um, what about work? Do you think people at work still get these kind of uh, messages? Similar to the ones we, we saw here, number one, six, or you think people don't get messages like this anymore? What do you think? Uh, 
I don't understand you. Okay, my question is uh, these kind of messages, number one to six, because all of these are phone messages or what people, mm -hmm. things people say when they leave messages, uh, or when they, when they take messages, sorry. Um, people usually, when they take phone messages, it means maybe you are a secretary, maybe you are uh, working in an office, and someone is calling to talk to someone else. So let's imagine that maybe you, Ines, and Balak, you work together in the same office, okay? So I call your office, and I want Ines, but Ines is not there, only Malak is there, okay? So mm -hmm. Malak will say, I'm afraid uh, Ines is not here right now. So can I take a message, right? Maybe she'll, she'll, she'll take the information. Do we do, we do mm -hmm. this in, at work here in Libya or we don't do this? What do you think? No, no. No, we don't do no, it? We don't do this. What Maybe do we in a big com Big companies? Uh, but, uh, Yes. Mm -hmm. Maybe. Okay. Uh, let's listen. 25, track 25. Okay. Track 25, one. I'm afraid he isn't here this afternoon. Two. Can I take a message? Three. Shall I tell him you called? Four. Hold the line, please. I'll put you through. Five. I'm sorry, he's in a meeting. Six. Would you like to leave a message? Okay. All right, so uh, your answers are all correct. Okay, let's do it, uh, let's do it one more time, Malak, but this time I'd like you to, uh, to listen and repeat, please, okay? Just uh, listen and uh, repeat. Okay. Track 25, one. I'm afraid he isn't here this afternoon. I'm afraid he isn't here this afternoon. Two, can I take a message? Can I take a message? Three, shall I tell him you called? Mm -hmm. Four. Hold the line, please. I'll put you through. Hold the line, please. I'll put you through. Mm -hmm. Five. I'm sorry, he's in a meeting. I'm sorry, he's in a meeting. Six, would you like to leave a message? Would you like to leave a message? All right. Okay, and what do you think number four means here, Malak? Hold the line, please. I'll put you through. Mm. What uh, do you think this means? Um, maybe it is uh, on the line uh, or uh, take you on uh, the line uh, until I will... Uh, uh, I will... Uh, Mm -hmm. A link with him? Correct. This is the meaning, yes. Yeah, especially when you call the big companies on the phone, sometimes they, they have like numbers. If you want to information, press one. If you want to talk to the blah, blah, press two. If you want to talk to blah, blah department, press three, right? If you want to talk blah, blah, something, press four. So you press four and then you wait. There's a little bit of music, na, 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 na. Maybe, maybe the automatic machine will say, hold the line, I'll put you through, or maybe a secretary, and you say, I want to talk to Ines. So Ines' secretary will say, okay, just a moment, I'll put you through. It means she will connect you to Ines' phone, right? 
Yes. So it's like this here. So you have to imagine maybe it's a company and there are different, uh, you know, departments. Maybe it's a bit like this. All right. So uh, this is an example here. Of course, the focus is uh, you can see that the focus is, what is it? It's how to take uh, a, a, a message. So someone called someone and uh, the, the other person is uh, not there. This is the idea. So someone is taking a message mm -hmm. to, to give it to the person who is not in the office now. This is, this is the idea. Okay. All right. Now let's move to the next story in exercise four. It says here, uh, look at, um, uh, look at the photos. So let's look at the photos. It says David wants to talk to his friend Matt. Watch or listen to three conversations. Are these sentences true or false? Let's read the sentences first and then we, see, we can see the photos and then we can listen to the conversations. So let's read the sentences. Number one, Matt's in a meeting at the recording studio. Okay. Number two, Carol thinks Matt is at work. Number three, David is at home when Matt calls him back. All right, so these are the three sentences. Let's see the photos. Um, so this is the first photo. Is, do we have only two photos? This is David, I think. He, what, what do you, where, do you yeah. think, where do you think David is in the photo? Um, maybe with uh, uh, he's in the office at the office. Maybe he's at the office, yeah. And what do you think he's yes. doing in the, in the photo? What is he doing? What is he doing in the photo, Malak? Uh, calling someone. He's uh, call, he calling someone. He's calling someone. Mm -hmm. yes. What do you? What do you think his job is? What does he do? Maybe uh, uh, he is in uh, uh, maybe he is in a uh, company. Maybe he's a, he works in a uh, works in a company. Maybe. Mm, what kind of company do you think it is? I don't know. Um, mm. And maybe uh, uh, at uh, government uh, offices. Yeah, maybe a public office. Uh, he works uh, in a public office, yes. you mean? Public. Yeah, maybe, maybe. Yeah. And what about Matt in the photo? What do you think, what do you think Matt does? He's uh, calling someone um, and he is in the street, uh, on the street. Mm -hmm. Okay. Maybe he is uh, come back from his car. Mm. You mean you think, did he, you're saying he just arrived, did he just arrive home? Or do you think he's leaving home? Yes, maybe he... Maybe he's leaving his home. Mm -hmm. Maybe. And what do you think he does? What's his job? What does he do? Maybe he is a football player. Maybe, a Maybe he's a player? student. Maybe. Uh... Mm -hmm. Why do you think he's a student? Because uh, his bag is he, Because he's wearing a he's bag? He's wearing a bag on his arm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Maybe I that's right. It's a bag for school. Maybe, Maybe some kind of school bag. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Now let's find out the story, okay? So uh, we are going to listen to the story and we have three conversations. So these are, I think there's another photo, a third photo. I think, is there another photo or just two photos? 
No, just two mm -hmm. photos. Two only two. Photos. Yeah, only two. But but we have three conversations, two photos and three conversations, okay? So let's listen to the three okay. conversations. Let's listen. And uh, let's find out, are these sentences true or false? Number one to three, okay? Are you ready? Okay. Yeah. One. Hello, KLR Recording Studio. Can I help you? Yes. Can I speak to Matt Robertson, please? Ah, I'm afraid he isn't in this afternoon. Can I take a message? Yes, please. Could you ask him to phone me tomorrow? My name's David Baxter. He can ring me at the office. Yes, of course. Actually, don't worry. I'll call him on his mobile. Thanks anyway. Goodbye. Bye. Two. Hello. Hi, Carol, it's David. Oh, hello, David. Are you enjoying your day off? Yes, it's nice to get away from the office for a while. What can I do for you? Is Matt there, please? No, he isn't. He's at work. Ah, OK. I just called the recording studio and he wasn't there. Oh, well. Have you tried his mobile? Yes, I have. There was no answer, but I left a message. Oh, OK. Shall I tell him you called? Yes, please. And can you ask him to call me back? I need to talk to him about our golf weekend. Sure. He can get me on my mobile or he can call me at home this evening. OK, I'll tell him. Bye, David. Bye, Carol. Three. Good afternoon, ATL Limited. Can I help you? Hello. Could I speak to David Baxter, please? Call the line, please. I'll put you through. Hello, is David Baxter there, please? I'm afraid he's in a meeting at the moment. OK, thank you. I'm sorry, he's in a meeting. Would you like to leave a message? Uh, just tell him Matt Robertson called. I'll call back later. OK, I'll give him a message. Goodbye. Bye. Okay, so uh, number one, is it true or false, you think? Yeah, I think it's true, it's true, not easy to think, yeah. Okay, and number two? Right, uh, true. Okay. I think Matt uh, is at work, yes. Okay, and number three? Um, no, no. False? Yes, false. Okay, Do, would you like to confirm your answers from by yes. listening again? Mm -hmm. Do you want to listen do you want to listen with with the script or without the script? Uh, yes, uh, yes with the out uh, with the script. With with the script. Yes. Okay, let's go to the script. So we want CD2 track 26 CD2 track 26. Oops. Let's go to, come on. Okay, CD2, track 26. Okay, here we are at the end of CD1, track 26, we need track 26. Track 18, track 22, where is 26? Go to track 26. Uh, where is it? Here it is. Okay. Can you see it on the right side? I'm going to maybe. Can you see it on the right mm -hmm. side, Malak? 
Here yes. the vid the video lesson. Ben, hello, okay. This is where it starts, okay? Yeah, yeah. All right, all right. So let's listen now. Yes. Track twenty six. Okay. One. Hello, KLR Recording Studio. Can I help you? Yes. Can I speak to Matt Robertson, please? Ah, I'm afraid he isn't in this afternoon. Can I take a message? Yes, please. Could you ask him to phone me tomorrow? My name's David Baxter. He can ring me at the office. Yes, of course. Actually, don't worry. I'll call him on his mobile. Thanks anyway. Goodbye. Bye. Two. Hello. Hi, Carol, it's David. Oh, hello, David. Are you enjoying your day off? Yes, it's nice to get away from the office for a while. What can I do for you? Is Matt there, please? No, he isn't. He's at work. Ah, OK. I just called the recording studio and he wasn't there. Oh, well. Have you tried his mobile? Yes, I have. There was no answer, but I left a message. Oh, OK. Shall I tell him you called? Yes, please. And can you ask him to call me back? I need to talk to him about our golf weekend. Sure. He can get me on my mobile or he can call me at home this evening. OK, I'll tell him. Bye, David. Bye, Carol. Three. Good afternoon, ATL Limited. Can I help you? Hello. Could I speak to David Baxter, please? Hold the line, please. I'll put you through. Hello, is David Baxter there, please? I'm afraid he's in a meeting at the moment. OK, thank you. I'm sorry, he's in a meeting. Would you like to leave a message? Uh, just tell him Matt Robertson called. I'll call back later. OK, I'll give him a message. Goodbye. Bye. Okay. Did you hear the the, the last Hello. part? Yes. Did you hear did you hear the end of the of the talk uh, of the, the call? No, that's part no. Okay, let let me show, repeat the, the last part, just the last part. Track. I'll give him a message. He's in a meeting at the moment. Okay. Is David Baxter there, please. Yeah. I'm afraid yeah. he's in a meeting. Okay, I'm just the beginning, then uh... then disconnection. Can you can you hear my can mm -hmm. you can yes, you hear me clearly? I hear you now. Yeah. Okay, so you yes. only you only heard number one, just number one, the first part. You mean? Mm -hmm. Okay, let me repeat number two for you, so you can hear number two and number three. Okay. Can you see number two, Malak? Yeah. Okay. Yes. All right. Let's yes, let's so. let me repeat number two for you. Hello. Hi, Carol, it's David. Oh, hello, David. Are you enjoying your day off? Yes, it's nice to get away from the office for a while. What can I do for you? Is Matt there, please? No, he isn't. He's at work. Ah, oh, OK. I just called the recording studio and he wasn't there. Oh, well. Have you tried his mobile? Yes, I have. There was no answer, but I left a message. Oh, OK. Shall I tell him you called? Yes, please. And can you ask him to call me back? I need to talk to him about our golf weekend. Sure. He can get me on my mobile or he can call me at home this evening. OK, I'll tell him. Bye, David. Bye, Carol. Three. Good afternoon, ATL Limited. Can I help you? Hello. Could I speak to David Baxter, please? Hold the line, please. I'll put you through. Hello, is David Baxter there, please? I'm afraid he's in a meeting at the moment. OK, thank you. I'm sorry, he's in a meeting. Would you like to leave a message? Uh, just tell him Matt Robertson called. I'll call back later. OK, I'll give him a message. Goodbye. Bye.
Okay, did you hear the whole conversation? Is it clear? Uh, yes, yes. Okay, good. Okay, so let's check our answers. Let's see if we need to change anything. All right, so uh, Matt's in a meeting at the recording studio. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Carol thinks Matt is at work. Is that true? Number two, what do you think? Yes, true. True, yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Number three? Yes. Um, yes, David is at home. We met because no, no, it's wrong. It's false. It is uh, at meeting. Okay. Yeah. All right. Now, uh, here, let's see these questions. Does David call Matt's mobile? Uh, David call Matt's mobile? Uh, no, no. Okay. Are you sure? Yes, uh, David. Uh, I confuse it between uh, David and uh, Matt. At the first, uh, David calls Matt, or Matt calls mm. uh, call uh, David. In in track number one and uh, two, yes, and, David uh, is David is one. calling. Number one and two, David is calling, but uh, number three, uh, Matt is calling. Matt is calling. Okay. Uh, no, it isn't uh, at home and at office. But here we're, we're not speaking about uh, Matt calling David, we're speaking at David calling Matt. Did you did you try calling him? Yes, yes, try calling him. Yes. But uh, if he tried calling him, that means can we say number one is true? It means he did yes, call. Okay. He did call his mobile, but the problem was not from David. The problem was from Matt. Matt didn't answer, right? If you remember in the beginning, yes. when yes. Ca when Carol asked uh, David, she told him. Did you call Matt on his mobile? And David said, yes, I called him, but he didn't answer. So I left him a message. Remember in the conversation? Yes. In conversation number okay. two. Yeah. So uh, David didn't, uh, I mean, Matt didn't answer the, his phone, but David, he did try. He did call him. All right. Now, why is Carol at home today? Maybe she has a, a holiday. Yes, she day has off. a day off. Yes, because she has a day off. Right. Why does David want to talk to Matt? What's the reason? Um, because he, he wants uh, him to, uh, to go with him to golf at the end. Correct. Yes. So he wants to confirm confirm a golf uh, meeting or something confirm meeting to to play golf correct yeah not work meeting but golf meeting yes correct yeah. number four where is david going to be this evening yes where is he going to be i think uh... What do you think? At the recording uh, studio. Mm, but when when he said in the beginning, uh, he said, uh, let, when he was talking to Carol, right? Do you remember? He said, um, you can tell Matt to call me home at the evening. Yes, maybe here at his home. 
exactly. I agree. I think I think Jess David is at home, yes. and he asked. Uh, he even left a message for Carol, um, so that if if Matt calls back, uh, she can tell him to uh, to call him at home, right in the evening. So I think at home. I think the correct answer is at home. Okay. Is David going to call Matt again later? What do you think? Are you there? Can you hear me, Malak? Yeah. Yes, yes, no one can. All right, so uh, is David going to call Matt again later? Yes, he called uh, him twice. He called him twice? Yes, uh, yes, yes. yes, he called him twice, I think. I don't remember if David, I don't know, to be honest, about this one. Is David going to call Matt again? I think he is because he said, I'll call him later, I think. Uh, because when he called him at the company and they told him yes. that uh, Matt yes. has, Matt is in, in, in a meeting, you remember, in number three at the end? Yes. So I think David said, yes, I'll call him later. We can check it, we can confirm it if it's later, but I think, I think yes, I think he is. He is going to call him later, I think so. All right. So uh, this was a, a little conversation, or three conversations. Two of them from David. And uh, the last one, uh, Matt. Matt was calling. OK. Now let's move on to here, part, uh, part number five. So in number two, we did the first part, which is taking phone messages. This means someone is calling you, Malak, and they want to talk maybe to your husband, to your, someone from your family, or maybe, maybe one of your uh, children's friends, you know, maybe uh, okay. one of their friends wants to, to talk to them, and maybe they don't have phones, right? Or maybe they are asleep, or maybe they are doing their homework and you don't want them to talk on the phone. So you can take a message. You can say, okay, uh, I'll take a message and I'll tell your friend when he finishes his homework, right? So, so the first okay. part was taking phone messages. Now we're going to do the opposite, which is leaving a phone message, uh, right? So here, so here we want to match these headings um, to the sentences from the phone conversations. Okay, so all of this is from the listening that we finished. So we want to match these three headings. So we have three groups or three different ways or maybe categories of phone conversations, okay? So the first one, A, okay. B, and C. Let's read the, the titles, let's read them. The headlines, the headings. Saying where people can contact you. Of course, if you leave a message, you have to say how they can call you back on your phone, on your WhatsApp, on your, you know, so uh, so this is it. Yeah. Saying where people can call, can contact you. Uh, leaving a message, right? So the message itself. This is what you want the listener to say to your to your friend, the one who you want to talk to. And the last one is asking to speak to someone, right? Okay. So maybe you call maybe you call someone's office. Of course, I think all of the, this whole lesson, all of it, I think, I think maybe 90% of it only works with landlines, right? Do you agree with me? What do you think? Do you know landlines? No. Landline is uh, the old telephone with a line, not, yes. not a yes. mobile. Yes. So, yes. so, yeah, so I think all of these, or most of this lesson, it only works with, I think, landlines when you leave a message yes. to, to someone. This is, this is the idea, I think. 
So maybe this this is maybe true only only in companies. Maybe um, I think it works. All right. So uh, group A, can you read can you read the three questions in group A? Okay. Uh, Maths and meeting at the no no I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. Can I speak to Matt as a person, please? Mm -hmm. Is Matt there, please? Could I speak to David Baxler, please? Okay. So, what kinds of um, answers do you think these? What what which heading do they match? Is it, uh, do you say these things when you want to say, where people can contact you or when, when you lend, or when you want to leave a message or when you ask to speak to someone? Which one? Uh, asking to speak to someone. Uh, I think that's correct. Yes, let's choose this one. So asking. asking to speak to someone. This means maybe you called their office, maybe you called their phone, their home phone number. But of course you don't say these things. Can I speak to da 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 or is da da da. If you call, a, if you call a, the mobile phone of someone, of course you don't need to say all this, right? Because everybody has their own private number. So we say this usually uh, when we call someone's office, right? So this is what we say. Okay, now the next group of questions. Could you speak, uh, could you ask uh, him or her to phone me tomorrow? Can you ask him or her to call me back? Just tell him or her Matt uh, the person called. Okay, so which group do you think these questions belong to? I think uh, leaving a message. Right, correct. Leaving a message is correct. All right, now the last group, of course, this is how they can contact you, right? Saying where, yes. where people can contact you. Okay, um, let's see the tip. When people, uh, uh -huh. this is also important. C can you check this tip uh, here, Malak? Mm -hmm. When we tell people who we are on the phone, we say it's David, not I'm David. Uh, I think we do, we do something similar here in Libya, right? Maybe if you're calling from a new phone, from a new number, maybe imagine, imagine your sister is calling you, but she's not calling from her number. Uh, or maybe uh, you don't know the number, right? And you answer and you say, who's this? Right? Um, mm -hmm. Right? Who's this? Yes, yes. من معي بالضبط وشخص بيجاوبك شو بيقول لك معك فلان معك رفنا. أي اسم أي اسم exactly بالضبط فهنا الفكرة نفسها يعني حتى هنا في ليبيا ما نقولوش أنا صهيب في التليفون نقولك معك معك صهيب صح ولا الشخص اللي بت المتكلم يقولكش أنا أنا مع محمد أنا أحمد بيقولك معك أحمد معك محمد right so, yes. so we usually we, we do something similar. Maybe it's not exactly the same, but I think it's a little similar. In English, it's the same. They usually say, it's David, it's John, it's Carol. I'm David, I'm Carol, right? So uh, it's an expression. They, you say, right? But uh, on the telephone, so they sometimes uh, do this because I think it refers to the name, uh, Mac, David, Mac. So maybe it's a bit like this. All right, so anyways, this is how you can leave uh, phone messages. 
Um, I think it's clear, right? There's nothing to complicate it. Is it clear, Malak? Do you get yes. the point? Yeah. All right. Okay. Yeah. yeah, we can move on. All right. So let's uh, let's do a little bit of listening. So all you want, all I want you to do is just uh, just listen and practice. Okay. So I'm going to repeat these questions, the ones that we just uh, finished. Let's leave the answer hundred dollars over. And uh, this way, uh, I just want you to read them. I mean, listen and repeat only. Okay. So let's listen and repeat. Can I speak to Matt Robertson, please? Can I speak to Matt Robertson, please? Is Matt there, please? Is Matt there, please? Could I speak to David Baxter, please? Could I speak to David Baxter, please? Could you ask him to phone me tomorrow? Could you ask him to phone me tomorrow? Can you ask him to call me back? Can you ask him to, to call me back? Just tell him Matt Robertson called. Just tell him Matt Robinson called. He can ring me at the office. He can ring me at the office. He can get me on my mobile. He can get me on my mobile. He can call me at home this evening. He can call me at home th this evening. Okay, very nice. So, uh, so I think for us, we could been spending it over here in the Siak in 2020. Maybe, uh, maybe this is only useful for companies. Maybe if you call someone in an office, شركة ممكن في مكتب عام شركة بريد maybe مصنع أو حاجة مؤسسة. Maybe you will need uh, to use this kind of language, right? But I think with family and friends, uh, we don't use it anymore, I think, especially with the internet. Uh, okay, so we can move on. Let's go to exercise seven. All right, so now we have the second part of uh, the talk. So here we're going to listen. We're going to listen to David and Matt's conversation answer these questions. Okay. Now, I'd like you to only read uh, the questions. Can you read the questions, please, from number one to five, mm -hmm. before we listen? <coughs> uh, okay, what, uh, where is uh, Matt now? What was Matt doing when David first tried to call him? How long is the journey to the golf course? What time are they leaving on Saturday? How are they go, uh, getting to the golf course? Okay, how do you say this word? Journey. Uh, okay. Journey. Mm, uh, try, to, try to cancel the, the, this, the E sound, just use Y. So, so. Journey, journey, journey. Say it like this. Journey, journey. Yes, correct. And remember the rule about uh, the soft G. How do we say how how do we say the the soft G sound in English? She. Mm. Remember we, when we studied the lesson about the, the two different the two she. different mm -hmm, the two different mm. uh, G sounds. So we have, for example, uh, the word like this. And the word, how do we read both of them? Yes, ener uh, energy, energy. Yes, correct. Uh, so how do you say and this? Game. Correct, correct, game. correct. How do you say this word now? Uh, 
It is G, not a G. But you say it in the same way. Mm -hmm. How do you say Journey. it? Journey. Uh, okay. Journey. Okay. Okay. So you should say it like this. This. Yes. Can you say it like mm -hmm. this? Journey. Correct. Journey. 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 Right? What does it mean, journey? When yeah. you say, what does it mean? Do you know what it means? A journey? No. No. Okay. A journey is like, uh, it's like a trip. It means uh, like, a, it's very similar to a trip when you go somewhere. Yes, I know. I know this, yes. But I uh, think uh, this word, what uh, you, re you wrote. Ah, no, no. This is only for pronunciation. Yes. It's just uh, yes. to help you imagine how, how we pronounce it. So in English, any, any soft G, always put, always put a little D. يعني أي أي حرف G حتنتقيه بطريقة ال بالطريقة العربية اللي هي جيم soft G لازم بتحطي في صوت دا شوية يعني يمشيش يمشيش مثلا journey ولا energy لا مش soft energy فش د فرق أن حرف دا مع هذه ما تخيل حرف دا صغير energy journey شو تاني في أربع كلمات بتجا Egypt 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 يعني لو مديراه بالسبلينج العربي كأنك بتكتبي بالطريقة هذه مصر بتقولي لها إي جبت إي جبت إي جبت like this رغم أنه ما فيش ما فيش letter D في كلمة إيجيبت في كلمة مصر لما تبي مكتوبة هتكون مكتوبة بالشكل هذا يعني ما فيش دي بكل صار كتبت بالعكس صح لا Yes. Ma fi hash. There is no D, but in Egypt. the in the but in the yeah. pronunciation there is a D. Egypt, Egypt, Egypt. Mm -hmm. uh, th I think this is only in English. لغات التانية مدروش في الكلام هذا. برتغالي إسباني حاجة تانية جروفا جيم مخفيفة دي. But in English you have to put the the D sound. All right. So how long is the journey uh, to the golf course? Okay. Okay. So this is the story now. Let's uh, let's listen to the second part of the conversation between David and Matt, and uh, let's find out this information. So we have track twenty-eight. Matt, David, I got your message. At last, where are you? Well, I'm just outside my house now, but when you called earlier, I was playing golf. Playing golf? Yes, I wanted to get a bit of practice before our golf weekend. I'm going to beat you this time. You just wait. Well, we'll see at the weekend. Anyway, what did you want to talk to me about? I just wanted to check with you about Saturday morning. What time do you think we should leave? Well, I'd like to be on the golf course by 11, and it's a two-hour drive. Right. So, uh, shall we leave by 8.30, or is that too early for you? No, that's fine. Shall we go in your car or mine? I don't mind. Okay, let's go in mine. I'll pick you up at 8.30. And keep practicing. You need it. Oh, yeah? See you on Saturday. Bye. Bye. Okay. All right. Where where is Matt now? Matt's house. Okay. Okay. What was Matt doing when when David first tried to call him? Um. He was a practice uh, on golf, play uh, play golf. Okay. So he was practicing golf. He was practicing playing golf, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. Uh, number three. <laughs> Excuse me. How long is uh, the journey to the golf course? Uh, two hours. Okay. What time are they leaving on Saturday? What time did they agree to leave? I think um, uh, 38. Uh, you mean half past eight? 8.30? Is yeah. this what you mean? Mm -hmm. Okay. And how are they getting to the golf course? 
Um, what do we mean how here? What do you think? It means are they going to walk? Are they going to take a, a bus, a train? Are they going to fly to the golf course? How? Do you know what a golf I course means? Mean, yeah. Do you know what it means, golf course? Mm, training? No, here we don't mean course like training, no. Course, we mean like the place. Do you know where they play golf? Okay. They usually yes. play golf in like a flat area, right? Uh, green and flat grass, right? You know, you know golf, right? Do you know? Yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. Do you know where they, the, pl the place they play golf is called a course. They say mm -hmm. golf course. Uh, the place where we play football, they say football field, football field. Or sometimes they say football pitch, pitch. They say sometimes pitch, they say sometimes field. So these are words which mean the places where we play sports. And for example, tennis, we say tennis court. We say basketball, I think also basketball court. For uh, golf, we say course. Uh, what other words, other sports? Uh, for Formula One, we say track, the track, right? Yes, okay. So these are just the names of, uh, of places uh, where we play sport, okay? So golf course, mm -hmm. it's not training, it's the place, the place okay. uh, that people play go golf. All right, so before we listen again, would you like to listen from from the script or would you want to do it without script to, to listen again? Okay, from the script. Okay, let's go to the script. So let's go, page 55, track 28, track 28. Okay, this is track 26, we want 28. This is 20. Here it is. Okay, can you see it on the top left? Yes. Okay, yeah. all right, so let's listen. Track 28. Matt. David, I got your message. At last. Where are you? Well, I'm just outside my house now, but when you called earlier, I was playing golf. Playing golf? Yes, I wanted to get a bit of practice before our golf weekend. I'm going to beat you this time. You just wait. Well, we'll see at the weekend. Anyway, what did you want to talk to me about? I just wanted to check with you about Saturday morning. What time do you think we should leave? Well, I'd like to be on the golf course by 11, and it's a two-hour drive. Right. So, uh, shall we leave by 8.30, or is that too early for you? No, that's fine. Shall we go in your car or mine? I don't mind. OK, let's go in mine. I'll pick you up at 8.30. And keep practising. You need it. Oh, yeah? See you on Saturday. Bye. Bye. Okay. Uh, all right. Let's see the questions again. And this time, let's write them. Okay. So, where is Matt now? Uh, yes, it is uh, at the uh, house. Yeah, he's at, uh, at home or in front of his house, I think he said. Yes. In front of his house. Okay. What was Matt doing when David called him the first time? He was uh, practice. Yeah. He was practice uh, golf, uh, golf. Yeah, so playing. we can say he was playing golf, right? Short answer. He yes. was playing golf. And how long is the journey? Two hours. And what time are they leaving on Saturday? Uh, half past eight. Correct. And how are they getting to the golf course? Mm, he will uh, pick up. Uh, that's what they hear. Correct. Who will pick up who? Mm, David. 
right? It's open at. Yeah, exactly. So it means in David's car, right? Because David will pick up Matt. Yes. So they are going to, to get there in, in David's car, right? Yeah. Okay. Okay, so now in exercise eight, it's, it's David's, uh, it's, it's Friday. It's, the, it's one day before their golf trip, right? So here we have a conversation. Yes. So it says here, David is phoning Matt at home. All right, so choose the correct words. Okay, so take, take, a, take a few minutes or take a minute or two okay. and choose, choose the right word. Mm -hmm. And then we can do it together as a, as a conversation, okay? Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm going to be David. Or I have a better idea. You do all of it at the beginning so we can see your answers mm -hmm. and then we can do it as a conversation, okay? Okay. Mm -hmm. Hiya, Carol. It's David. Is Matt here? Is Matt there? Please? No, uh, Carol, no. I'm sorry, he's uh, at the gym. Have you tried his mobile? Yes, I have, but he didn't answer. Carol, well, shall I tell him you call? Uh, David, yes, please. And can you speak, uh, can you ask him to call me back? Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, David, he can. Okay, I will tell him by date. Okay, can can you do number eight, nine, and ten? I didn't uh, hear you because. Disconnection. Okay. Eight uh, gets. Gets. Get or gets? Gets. Why? Because he, he gets. But we don't have he gets, we have he can. Okay. Gets. Maybe yeah. Gets. Because with can, by uh, the way. Uh, yes, yes, because, uh, yes, I studied that after. Can uh, we, we put, uh, the verb in infinitive? Yes. Yeah, yes. no, no changes, and uh, not only can all the verbs in Could. Uh, yeah, mm. all the modal verbs, the the, the verbs okay. from the can family: can, could, shall, should, mm -hmm. will, would, ought to. Okay. All all of them, this, they they are the same. We just put infinitive, no, no s, no. Like didn't, okay. right? When we use did and didn't, especially didn't in the negative. Anything okay. after didn't, we use infinitive. He, she, it, no difference. Doesn't make a difference. Okay, mm -hmm. uh, he can get me. Uh, get me on my phone, mobile. Mm -hmm. uh, or uh, he can 
call me at all. Mm -hmm. Okay, correct. All of it is correct. Now let's do it as a conversation. Maybe we can change both times. And let's, let's try to sound natural, okay? Try to sound as okay. natural as we can. Hi, Carol. It's David. Is Matt there, please? No, I'm sorry. He's at the gym. Have you tried uh, his mobile? Yes, I have, but he didn't answer. Well, shall I tell him you call? Yes, please. And can you ask him to call me back home? Uh, sorry, and can you ask him to call me back this evening? Of course. He can get me on mobile or he can ring me. Uh, he can get me on my mobile or he can call me at home. Okay, I'll tell him. Bye, bye David. Okay, let's do it the opposite way. So you're David and I'm Carol. Hi Carol. Uh, it's David. Is Matt there, please? No, I'm sorry, he's at the gym. Have you tried his mobile? Yes, I have, but he didn't answer. Well, shall I tell him you called? Yes, please. And can you ask him to call me back this evening? Of course. He can get me uh, on my mobile or he can call me at home. Okay, I'll tell him. Bye, David. Okay. All right, very nice. Okay, so this is an example of a conversation on the phone. Um, okay, this is nice. So we have uh, two conversations here. Mm -hmm. uh, use sentences from 2A and number 5. Mm, Okay, let me see if I can show both. I think I can't, let, let me check. I do it, I uh, do them. Have you finished it? Yes. Oh, very nice, okay. Do you, uh, okay, let's do it. Or do you want to have a little break for prayer first and then we can do it? Okay. Okay, okay so let's have a short five minute break. Mm -hmm. uh, we can pray and come back. Uh, so, but but you you made conversations from number nine. Uh, these two conversations yes. you made yes, conversations. I do that. Yes. All right. Excellent. That's very good. I present. Yes. Nice. Nice. Okay. So very quick break, and we'll be back. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. All right.
Hello. Hi, can you hear me? 